Hi everyone, my name is Martin and welcome in another Photoshop video tutorial. Today I have something really great to show you and it doesn't mean it will be complicated because I'm going to show you a very simple trick. It's actually a quick tip how to improve your images, how to add to your images this fantastic glow. So, as you probably seen, very pop recently family photography or landscape photography become very popular, especially I'm talking about family photography. And the thing you can actually notice, they all have this fantastic glow and soft colors. So I just want to show you how you can get these fantastic soft colors on the image using this simple method. So all the powerful, all the think all the, the the keyword is actually luminosity blending mode and that's how we're going to get this fantastic soft colors of the image and my inspiration was i was recording some uh, course uh, for actually photographers for family for people who are interested in photography on retouching family images so you can check the description uh, with the link with some coupon count and now I am going to show you this effect. So as you can see, it's a really good image. We have nice colors over here, but we don't have the softness. It's just a picture. It's a nice picture, but we miss something. And very usual when we edit something, we use levels, for example, to set up the whites, darks, and simply speaking, to set up some of the contrast, some balance between and these colors and what is happening when we're using it is that actually it's affect it affect the colors so our colors getting very dark sometimes and it doesn't look that great we we got really nice colors nice contrast but the point is it affects our colors and it darken many many parts of the image and how to fix this and how to turn it into a really nice uh, effect. The secret is using gradient maps. I'm going to use gradient map and now you have to be careful and I always use gray colors because I'm going to use luminosity blending mode and I use gray colors because luminosity blending colors belongs to this composite uh, blending modes and very similar as color. Color affect the colors of the image and luminosity doesn't affect the colors, it affects the light. So if it's affect the lights, we have to use the colors that actually works like this. So it will be color grays. So I am not going to use black and white because it's not going to really affect. And it works up actually about the gray scale, how much gray we add to the image. If we use the colors, it doesn't have um, so many points. So I really like to work with grays because they are very universal. I know I'm talking quite chaotic, but you're going to see the result. So I'm going to choose this gradient map and for the shadows I'm going to use dark gray color, something like this. And for the bright areas for the lights I'm going to use soft gray color of course you can experiment with other colors I'm just going to show you something really universal as it's not going to affect the colors so press ok and now we set our gradient map and one thing you have to do change to the blending mode to the luminosity and what happens right now it doesn't look so well but we can notice that something really amazing happened and the colors look great so one thing we have to do turn down some opacity to the level you really will be happy right so have a look it brought up all of the actually nice parts from the shadows so it makes this image looks really outstanding sometimes we lose the contrast so we can just simply use once again levels for example to works a bit if it's too dark or something like this and as you can see, I think that's the nice point. I'm going to put this to the group, um, select all of this. You can press Shift, select all of them, then Control or Command G to put this to the group and have a look. Just in few simple steps, we got this effect, really nice colors using luminosity blending mode. That's the key to remember. As you can see, it works with most of the image. I said it works the best with family images. 
but let's have a look on the background over here. Before that, we didn't have this really nice background. It was a bit rough, I would say. So I use the same method, luminosity, blending mode with these colors, and have a look how beautiful colors we got, how beautiful lines we got on this background. As well as with this child, it works really great with different kind of flower images, as you can see here. I want to bring up some of the contrast to make really nice colors. And still again, it just looked like normal image. So how to make this amazing? Of course, luminosity, blending mode, and gradient map as an adjustment. So I'm going to do this very quickly. Press OK everywhere. Now going to change this to luminosity and we can enjoy our beautiful colors we got from the image. So that's everything. That was a very quick step for you how you can make really outstanding images. Uh, so thank you for watching soon next video tutorial, maybe this week. And well, I'm going to hear you very soon. Thank you for watching.